All right, put a new uh, goat from Z-Man, Goat Z, toe down there, and let's go. All right, because it's a buzz, because it's a buzz bait, just cover as much water as possible. Kind of quickly move through this thing. And when they cover a lot of water, heck, this might be quicker than I thought. And one thing, wasn't much of a hit. It's just like, pow, pow. Is that done? Yes, sir. Did we get it again? Hmm. Let's try a different angle. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You guys see that? They're on the lily pads, man. Let's see if we can get it again. A little different angle there. Wait for that big explosion, like, so far, two hits, zero bass. Not a good, not a good odd to start. That's how you don't get it done, son. Let's go. Let's try that again. Because I don't know this lake that much, I've only fished it maybe three times, and I really never have really, really, really fished it. Uh, you know, I will throw some casts out there in the middle. Sometimes, you know, especially in the summertime, you might get some grass, grass out there, or hydrilla, or algae out there in the middle and those bass will be, those females will be hiding, hiding in there. It's definitely throw in the middle a couple times. This is the last cast. This is the last cast. Yes, sir. Getting it done. Last cast. Getting it done, son. Yes, sir. Choked it. Boom. Getting it done. That's how you get it done, son. Last cast, like, we just gotta go. It's the time to go. Boom, getting it done. Let's go. Wrapping this bad boy up. The buzz bait with the toad on it down here in this lower pond, but, oh, it's pretty bad. I thought we'd be in a little cooler. Still haven't gotten a lot of rain, but pretty much about the only spot I could throw it, so try it a couple times and then figure out what we're gonna do from there. Let's go. Get it done, son, yes sir. Should we just try like a, the Z-Man Goat Z, just on a hook, see how that performs? Problem is, anytime you get any type of vegetation or anything, gets caught up in there. The dang birds, once it gets caught up in there, it starts to affect that how that blade. Then you gotta really pick it out. And that's just a pain in the butt. It's not the right thing to use. So, you guys wanna try a goat Z? What do you think, chat? Wanna try a goat Z? It's not a regular war, uh, hook. We haven't tried, we haven't tried, we haven't tried a goat Z in years. So let's, Let's last cast and let's get it done. Well, with the uh, goat man, uh, goat man, huh, Z man, goat Z, we're just gonna try it out. You know, I had it, I had it on the back of that buzz bait, and uh, let's try it out. You know, definitely like a smaller profile. Sometimes, you know, we've had so much rain, we have had so much, so much rain. Gosh, I can't speak today. We haven't had that much rain at all. I mean, last probably two and a half months. The rain has been, hasn't been anything really. And the ponds are down, the water's hot, and sometimes you just need something a little bit smaller of a profile. And I've always said, once that starts to happen, the hot weather and no rain, the vegetation starts to grow pretty bad. One thing I can't stand about these things, you can't really cast them that far. So far, I'm not sure. Probably the reason why I never use these in the first place. That's just this is by themselves, but try to get it done. Let's go. Part of the reason why I like to use that single hook or extra wide gap hook with different is because as far as lures go, I could switch lures pretty quickly. Between this, between a, between the zoom paddle frog, the timu paddle frog, the creature crawl. It's just I mean, there's a ton of different types of soft plastics that have just a top water that you just put the hook in and reason in my head it keeps on going back fish a hollow body frog fish a hollow body frog and sometimes sometimes that's just kind of got to go with your gut right now the hollow body frog is telling me that's the way to go as much as i like this uh i think i probably have more success with a hollow body frog i don't know that's just what i'm feeling yeah sometimes you just gotta go with your gut i know i think personally the higher catch-up ratio or you catch the, the hit to catch ratio is better with an extra wide gap hook with the, the paddle frog. But, uh, oh, I think the hollow body frog is at three minutes later. I'm still here, still thinking. 
Uh, gotta make a decision, I gotta go. I, I'm really torn. I don't even know, I can only make one pass around this thing. And I'm trying to make the, the best out of that one pass. And you gotta go with your gut. You always gotta go with your gut. It's telling me how a body frog, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Gotta stick with your gut. Even though I don't think that is what I should be throwing, I gotta go with my gut. So we're gonna go with my gut today, go through gut feeling, even though I don't think that's what I should be doing. Okay, let me cut and retie and let's go. How about you, frog? E even though I, I don't, again, even though I, I think that's this is a, a not the, not what I should be throwing, sometimes you gotta stick with this, with, with what your gut, not the means I don't throw it, or I don't try my best using it. And you might regret it at the end of the day and say, you know, my gut, my, my feeling was way off. Should have went with something else. I should have stuck with my initial thought, but most of the times, your, your gut is right. Whoa. I don't know if you just saw that. Sitting right there, probably two feet off the bank, was a bath, and right in this, right in this stuff, unreal. That's when the water goes down, you don't have rain. I mean, it pushes those. Sometimes those push those bass, especially with this cover. Just nowhere to go. There's just absolutely nowhere to go, especially like a lake like this, which is kind of more on a shallow side. I mean, there's no place to go. You lose a foot. A big deal, man. It's still underneath there. It's not gonna feed though. It, it's moving around right, I mean, literally. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's sitting right there. Sitting right there. Let's see if we can get it. See if I can get it to, to move again. Oh, you see that? Oh, no. All right, we need something. But we need something big. We need, we need to get it going right here, man. I'm telling you. I don't know what these big ones are doing. We need something. Get it going this morning. I guess I'm going to try to get as close to this bank as possible. Maybe they're sitting so tight up on this bank. <laughs> Maybe not. Dude, I had a feeling ever since that side, uh, that side, I've been looking at them like, there's this thing, I know it's not the biggest one, there's just a big chunk of grass sitting right there. And it's just sitting right there. And I know this is a deeper part of the lake. Trust your gut. Yes, sir. Getting it done. Dude, all right, I, I kind of figured if I had a shot, it was going to be that. And sometimes, sometimes you just see an isolated spot of just grass or um, algae or something that's just all the way out there. That's the spot you got to hit, you know, and that's what I did. I came over all the way out there and I'm like, you know what? There's a kind of unique spot. There's just a group that kind of looks different. All the water around it looks different. Sometimes that's just enough difference that that's what you have to target. I think it was angry. I was an angry bass. Good gosh. Marty, what an angry thing. It's isolated, like if you get isolated timber or isolated lily pads, algae that just sits out there. Enough of a difference. Timber or lily pads or cattails or al Oh, boom, cool. come on, son. Knew there was another one in there. Patience, come on. Never really fished here, or at least stood here. How shallow the, the lake is, but it's bass when there's no there's no rain for as long as we haven't had rain. I mean I'm I'm in what should be water. Just walking this bank. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! I hope you guys Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Holy crap, dude, I told you, I gotta go, 
I told you, son. Stick with the gut, stick with the gut, stick with the gut. Yes, sir. Dude, I cannot believe I had the wrong angle. Dude, that bass came up and it just jumped. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I mean, it literally jumped up out of the water to catch this frog. Stick with your gut, son. Yes, sir. Woo! Dude, that literally, I mean, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. I, gosh, I cannot believe I didn't have that on film. Same spot. Pretty much the same pocket I've been talking about. That's, that, that's it. That's a four pound bass. You want me to weigh it up? Well, I'll weigh it up. I got no problems with it, bro. I got no problems with the chat. I hear you. But that's the same spot I told you. It's a little bit different out of that pond. Getting it done. Yes, sir. Getting it done. That's what I'm talking about. Trust your gut. Don't second guess yourself. And I started to second guess myself over on that side. I'm like, probably should have never, should have never probably did what I did. A little bit under four. Getting it done. Trust your gut. Cut time. That's what I'm talking about, son. Yes, sir. Getting it done. Getting it done. Getting it done. So maybe you shouldn't trust your gut and just go with what you know, what you think, or you know. But I'm telling you one thing. Sometimes your gut, there's that feeling inside, just that gut feeling, that feeling of like I think this is what I should be using, even though everything's telling me I shouldn't be using it. That's when you get it done, son. You knew it's, I mean, it always gets tough when you don't have rain. And we haven't had rain and I have a little small, small amounts of rain here and there, but it's not deep to begin with. And when it's not deep to begin with and you lose a foot, I'd probably say over a foot. I mean, it just makes it tough. I cannot believe I, don't ha I didn't have that on film. That was probably one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. But I say, you gotta trust the gut, man. I trust those feelings. You get it done, son. Getting it done. Look at that. I'm bit my bit the thing off. Isn't that crazy. All right, put a new one on. Let's get it done, son. I don't think we. I don't think we're gonna get that that last one that I wanted. All right, guys. Well, I'm stuck in stuck in mud. So hold on. All right, guys, what a day, what a day. You know what, stick with your gut. You know, my whole plan really was to go to a, a paddle frog or a creature crawl, or I did a Z-Man uh, goat Z, started off with that. I knew I couldn't cast it that far, but I figured maybe something a little bit different. Um, early, you know, I started casting it out there. I didn't like the distance I was throwing on it. I, I fished them before, I knew what distance. So, you know, I just had a gut, like just go to the, go to a hollow body frog. Uh, honestly, it was totally gut feeling. I, you know, everything told me to go to a Zoom paddle frog or the Timu uh, paddle frog or the Timu toad or whatever you want to call it, the, the paddle. Uh, that was my instinct. That's what I, I feel like I should have done. I went with it. I might, you gotta, gotta go with the gut. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get it done. You gotta get it done. Whatever your gut's telling you. I'm, I'm happy I did. I'm happy I switched over. I'm happy I followed my gut. I followed my gut. My gut said a hollow body frog. Casted it out there. I missed a couple. In a spot that I thought I was gonna get them. I ended up getting them. Caught the big four pounder. So I just got it done, getting it done. Hey, and the moral of today, or the lesson of today is stick with your gut. If you have a feeling that, hey, this lure is better than this, and even though it's telling you, hey, it's probably, probably not, stick with it, try it out. Most likely, 90% of the time, what your feeling of the lure or your gut was telling you to switch to something, that's 90% of the time that's gonna work out for you. I'm glad I did, because I got it done today. Getting it done, getting it done, getting it done, getting it done fishing. So I'm really glad I did, follow your gut, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Catch you later on the next time. All right, see you later.